contemplate my faith Do they know? We were recording our last album when Robbie was recording his first um, in the studio next door. Elton John was taking him to rehab the next day. And for whatever reason, he wanted like a, an indie band to come and listen to uh, this record that he'd made. And he sort of dragged the whole band in to listen to his recording of Angels. And he said that he thought it was a, an 11 out of 10, uh, which it was. Um, and you sort of knew that this was kind of going to be the new force. Like Robbie Williams making music kind of like Oasis. So once he was doing it, you knew it was over. That was the moment that it was finished. And through it, oh, she offers me protection. A lot of love and affection. Whether I'm right or wrong. And down the waterfall, wherever it may take me. I know that life won't break me when it comes to call. She won't forsake me. I'm loving angels instead. Of Britain culturally at the moment, you know, what, what do you think it is? What kind of place it is to live at the moment? So, I mean, it'd be easy to say it's very American, but I don't think it's quite true. You know, we've obviously kind of changed a lot in the last sort of 15, 20 years. Um, I find it a, quite an anonymous place at the moment. You know, city to city, I don't find, I don't feel when I go to a place that I feel a lot of that place anymore. It feels that there's an overall feeling of Britain, which is everything is quite uniformed everywhere you go. Everything's in the same place all the sounds are the same. Everything's become so pop on one level and so uh, and so kind of uh, calculated which has, has worked you know in certain areas of the music business obviously because it's been going there for a good six seven years this whole kind of karaoke build your own band thing. We were mixing the Hindu times in Olympic studios in London. And where, where the room is where we're doing this mixing is like a, a conservatory type thing. And there was all these kids doing their fucking dancing thing. And, I, and Liam and Andy Bell walked in. And they went, you see all them kids out there? And he went, oh, you mean Junior S Club 7? And it took me 20 minutes to realise, how the fuck do you know what they're called? I thought they were just some kids from a special needs school who was hanging out in a fucking recording studio for the day because it was free food or something, you know. And they knew their names. I don't mind us Club Juniors, they're all right, they're better than the fucking other ones. Good little kids, man. And where did all this come from? Have you ever noticed now when these fucking knobheads from Pop Idol, it's like all the, the boy bands or the girl bands, what does this mean? You know, what, I, don't, I don't get that at all. All the, the choreographers have taken over the world, man. You know, everything's choreographed now, isn't it? It's fucking rubbish. <laughs> I was in LA a few weeks ago and I was in a restaurant and Simon Fuller, who is the one of the conspirators behind Pop Idol, came up to me and I said, Oh, hello. Right. Lovely to meet you. Uh, and he said, I said, Well, what are you doing? And he said, Oh, well, we're just uh, finalising our deals to uh, bring Pop Idol to America. And I went, Oh, great. That's really good news. <laughs> so I mean, we, we know, you know, I suppose we've got to give them, give them something, haven't they? They've kind of given us a heck of a lot. This is 
Why Oasis? Why not Blur? <laughs> Woohoo! Well, I feel up in my Woohoo! So that's why not. <laughs> <laughs> Liam started believing everything that was written in the enemy about him. It was a good couple of weeks that he was he was talking in a Scouse accent. Now I'm all for madness in rock music, you know, and I'm all for surrealism, but he was trying to convince me that, you know, <laughs> that I should call him John. There was lots of weird things going on. There was like this bloke. There was this bloke who kind of dressed, the bottom half of him was female and the top half was male. Uh, he was quite strange. He gave us some wood for a bonfire once. kid had a bit of a scuffle and I come on with a broken arm, broken leg and a shotgun on my shoulder and my mum goes, what fucking kind of music are you making down there?